Hey everyone, Ava Pilot here, and today I have another holiday themed unboxing. And this is from Sega and Jaya. This is Raya Anami and Oscar Langley Soryu Premium Christmas Figures. And this is also version 1.5. So there is another version of these. The packaging is a little bit different. Uh, the packaging, I do believe, is wider for each one. But I went with these because these are the newer versions of it. And these are also for the Evangelion 2020 anniversary. On the side of each, you get a nice close-up picture. And on the back, you get a bunch of, uh, yeah, Japanese. So, I can't tell you what any of that says, but it's there. And strangely enough, you don't have to do anything with Asuka, it would seem. But Ray, you have to put the staff together and the backpack that has pen pen in it. Turn it again. Get another picture. And then back to the front. So why don't we get these opened up and take a closer look. All right, well here they are out of the packages and put together on the stands. All the accessories are there. And I have to say, these things look great. And actually, they are the same size as other Sega premium figures. So you have uh, Asuka here from 3.0, 1.0. Right now, I want to go over Ray first just because she has, well, I like Ray the most. And also, she actually has stuff like I showed you on the box to put together. So if you look at her little uh, staff here, Take that top off, and that's how you're going to get it into her hand. And has a little hole there. So you just slide this in from the bottom, or else it's not going to go in. Because the end of it has that little thing there. You just take this, slide it through, and it stays in there. It's not going to fall out. You put this on. Bam. Now, the hardest part was actually doing the Santa sack with pen pen in it. Uh, the Santa sack really, it, it was hard to get in there. I'm going to take it apart just to show you uh, pen pen, even though I don't like having to do that. See, it's just three pieces. Uh, the whole statue is one, because this is attached, doesn't come off, and you have just the other half of the bag here. And you have Pen Pen. He doesn't have to be in the sack. He can actually just be out. You just have him like that. But to get him in, it was really hard because when he's in there, he is snug. He does not move at all. So you gotta have him facing like that. But first, you put this on him. Come on. There we go. And he goes right underneath his arms. Now for the hard part. Because he has to be in here just right because of the way his body shape is. Yep. Dang, nabbit. Alright, let me see this. I should be able to get it on now. And the tabs that hold this in place are really tough, especially this side right here. Come on. Get in there. At least you don't have to worry about Pen Pen falling out. There we go. Yeah, so he is not going anywhere at all. No give whatsoever. He's stuck. Alright, so I think the quality of this looks great. Uh, great looking statue. I like the eyes. Now, I like how they did the, uh, the fuzzy parts on the Santa outfit. It actually has that nice texture to it. So it actually really seems like it's real fabric on there. And she's wearing this single, I don't even know what you call that, single, uh, I don't even know, just a single horn on the hat, I don't know what you would call that, the little piece. And then she has this jacket on top of her uh, very nice looking dress, has a hood right there. 
see a couple brass little clamps or whatever and if you go a little farther down she has on these like gothic boots she has three belts on each of them she also has a green stand and it just says just has the nerve logo with gods in his heaven all rights with the world and to put these on uh, her and Oscar are the same one foot and it's a small peg and a big peg so that you can easily find the hole and then also they're both wearing these really thick winter gloves but they look really nice they're white but they have like a little bit of a pink line going and so why don't we talk about Oscar now now she's a little bit different still same color still has that look for the fuzzy on the jacket and hat but with her you can actually see she has a little ribbon here in her hair and also she has two of those uh, pieces for the hat. Kind of like rabbit ears. But there is no little fuzzy ball on the end like Ray has. Let's see. She has a little stocking in her hand. Now, who is that? Oh, I see now. So, I get it. That's Kaji. And then, over here, we have Sinji. And you got a little angel there. Hmm, could it be because they fight angels? I don't know. Got a candy cane, a little present. Now, it would have been interesting if they made the candy cane look like an entry plug. I like that. And then she has a ribbon here attached to a bell. Now, she's wearing a bit of a different jacket than Ray is. She has brown buckles. And she does not have a hood. But she does have that nice kind of a... I don't even know what you call it. I don't know about clothes. It has like the top part of the jacket. Like it's a throw. A shoulder throw. I don't know if that's what you call them. Alright, and unlike Ray, who has bare skin for the legs, she has on some tights here. And then also, her boots are different. They're not uh, like goth high top boots. They're just normal winter boots with little ribbons. Now, there are other... Uh, Christmas figures of these two, not by Sega. Well, there is by Sega, but there's other brands that have them. They, they look nice, but I wanted these two. These are going to look real nice next to my other Avangallion figure statues. So I'm real happy about that. And I love the quality that they have. Like the hair, like with Ray's hair, you can see it has like a, a sky blue. It starts up here and it goes down and it gets darker. And with Oscar, you can see how it's like a like a dull orange, and it gets down. It's a darker orange near the tips. And I like how it has like you know little lines in there, showing all the different uh, locks of hair and everything. They just look amazing. I keep saying that because they do. They do look amazing. So for Oscar's box, they actually called it Soryu Oscar Langley, which huh? they totally put all the words in different spots. Yeah, interesting note, the box for Asuka actually has her name uh, kind of mixed up. Instead of it saying Asuka Langley Soyu, it's Soyu Asuka Langley. Just a little interesting tidbit there. I mean, if you like Avangallion and you like Christmas, I think these are great to have. Next Christmas, I'll probably have a couple of the other ones. Uh, I do know there's some Halloween ones I want to get for next Halloween since I wasn't able to do a Halloween video on time this year. Thanks a lot, Walmart, for not shipping my pre-orders on time. But hey, I'm not going to keep complaining. Alright, well that's just been my review on Sega and Jaya's premium Evangelion Christmas figures of Oscar Langley Soryu and Rei Ayanami. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And you know, as always, you have yourselves a good one. And I will see you later.